Hello, good people of the world. My name is Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you for coming back every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. Thank you guys. So today we're gonna do a small project. I kind of wanted to show you guys that not everything has to be super big pieces of furniture. This is a little side table that my client is going to use to put plants on. So we're going to make it kind of planty. Is that a word? Planty. So <laughs> this little piece right here has a marble top and we're gonna be using some, one of my favorite kinds of paint. This is Country Chic and it is May and this is their one of their colors of the month and it's called Dune Grass which I think is pretty cool. So it's kind of like a lighter green color. We're gonna do a tiny bit of blending on here, but we are also going to use a redesign with Prima decor transfer, and this is called Trellis Flowers. And we're just going to kind of make this planty because it's going to be something that holds plants. So if you guys wanna see that, stay here. I wanted to take this opportunity while I was cleaning this piece to show you what to look for and know when you need to use a blocking primer on a piece of furniture. So if you can see this cleaner, the bubbles are white and then they start turning a brown color. Now this could be a couple different things. This could be the tannins in the wood. This could be an old sealer, an old lacquer. It could be from smoking. It could be just dirty. But the thing is, is that I know when this these bubbles start turning colors, this piece is going to give me problems. I would have problems with bleed through if I'm using a lighter color. And you can see right here, I'm spraying even more and you can see when it starts dripping, it's just dirty from whatever it is in there, whether it's a failing finish, tannins, dirty, whatever it may be. And so I wanna take the proper steps to make sure that I do not have problems with bleed through later on. So I'm going to clean this piece really well. I'm gonna clean it a couple times and then I'm gonna go over it with clean water and a clean rag. Typically I have gloves on when I'm doing this. I am using the Green Ease Cleaner on this right now, but usually I have gloves on. I just didn't at this point, so wear gloves. Now, what I'm gonna do is go over this with clean water and a clean rag and you're gonna see that the water is not super dirty, but still it is a little bit tinted. So I'm gonna go over it with Pure Eco's gray blocking primer and I'm gonna use a coat of this on here before I use the paint that we're gonna use. So we will be using Country Chic's paint and it is an all-in-one paint, but it's suggested that if it's a piece that you think is going to have problems with bleed through, put an additional primer down. It's going to just save you a time and a headache. So if you do the proper prep, it's going to really help. So we're going to put a layer of this down and then we are going to paint with our Country Chic after this has sat and dried overnight. Now that it has sat, and I always let my primer sit and do what it's meant to do. So it needs time to really dry and lock in those tannins. So I do paint it and let it sit overnight. Or if I do it in the morning, I let it sit for, you know, all day until I do it later on in the day. So we are gonna put two coats of dune grass by Country Chic on this piece of furniture. This is gonna be a pretty simple makeover, but I did want to show you guys the proper prep and I wanna show you how to kinda of do a little bit of blending. And I did wanna go in depth about how to put a redesign with Prima's transfer on here with multiple levels. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Now, I'm gonna take a mister bottle and I'm gonna mist the legs and anywhere that I wanna do this on. And I'm gonna take cheesecake from Country Chic, and we're just gonna add a little bit of highlighting, and I'm just going to lightly put that on there. Then I'm gonna take a clean, dry, neutral brush, and I'm gonna just kind of go in, in different directions, and I'm going to blend those into each other. This isn't going to be something crazy. This is gonna just be a very subtle look, almost like a whitewashed look on this piece of furniture. This is something easy that you can do, and it's gonna add just a little bit of dimension and character to this piece. 
So again, I'm going in with cheesecake and I'm just putting that at the edge. I'm gonna take that clean dry neutral brush and I'm gonna go in different directions and kind of spread it out and blend it in. So that way there is a lighter area, but it's not a super hard line. So it's more of a blended look. Then I'm gonna take the brush that I have cheesecake on and I'm gonna just kind of go in different directions, almost like a dry brush at this point. And that way I'm adding just a little bit of that cheesecake over so that it's adding another layer of dimension on there. I'm going to distress this piece with my 3x4 electric ray by Surf Prep. So this is a half inch super fine pad. And what I like to do when I distress is I like to put it in natural places where there's going to be some natural wear. And I like to lightly go over it. So it does pull away a little bit of the paint down to the wood, but nothing super, super crazy. And this just gives it a worn look. And We will be using the Redesign with Prima Decor transfer called Trellis Flowers. And I really like this one because the flowers and the ivy vine are going to be hanging down almost. And I thought it would be really cool for this because this is going to be something she puts her plants on. So the first thing I do is unroll it and I cut out the areas that, or the pieces of the design that I think I'm going to use on here. So that's the first step is to cut out little pieces of design. Some of the decor transfers are all one sheet. A lot of them are kind of ones like this where you can put in different places, layer them. And so what I do is I take this and I kind of dry fit it to visualize how I want it. Now this is gonna go around that 90 degree angle and it's gonna be on multi-levels. So I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna look at it, see if it's exactly where I want it, and then I'm going to peel that white protective backing off, and I'm going to gently place it on the piece of furniture. Now, I'm gonna work on the right side first, and so I'm going to put it on the crease, and then I'm going to gently burnish it down on the side because we're gonna work our way around that angle and we're going to work our way on these different levels so i'm going to take the burnishing stick that it comes with and i'm going to burnish that side very carefully make sure you're not touching the other side because the other side is sticky and the sticky is meant to stick on the piece of furniture not your hands so don't touch the other side of that plastic then what we're going to do is you can see that there's a multi-level right here so i'm going to take a razor blade and i'm going to gently cut the plastic away from it so that way I can fold it over into that lip and use my burnishing stick so that way we can burnish that transfer down on that little edge of that piece. I will continue burnishing everything down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over the transfer on that 90 degree angle to the front. I'm going to start burnishing it down right there so that way we can get it to stick to the piece on the front. So when we start releasing it on the side, it will still be connected to the piece of furniture so it's not going to fall off or do something crazy. So we're going to burnish it down. Now there is a indent right there so I'm going to turn the burnishing stick to the side and I'm going to burnish the transfer into that as well and you're going to see that once we move it to the front. But I'm also going to take this razor blade and I'm going to cut any excess plastic off that could be getting in my way so that way it's easier for me to work with this piece but we're going to burnish that front down and then we're going to move back over to the side and i'm going to start pulling that back so i'm going to burnish it and start pulling that side back so that way we can start getting rid of some of that excess plastic and really get this transfer on this piece
Once we've burnished the side and everything is released, we're gonna take that razor blade and we're gonna cut that excess plastic off. Now, make sure that you have burnished that front because you want that to be adhered to the piece of furniture because if you don't adhere that and then you try to cut the side off, it's gonna fall off. The whole transfer is going to fall off and you don't want that to happen so make sure that you have the front adhered at least you don't have to have it completely burnished but at least adhered enough so that when you cut that plastic off it's not going to make a difference then you're going to burnish the front and you're going to just slowly put that on there and like i said there's this little divot in the center right there that's why we turn that burnishing stick to the side but i'm just burnishing this and then once i have this down we're going to take the razor blade and we're going to cut that go right to the edge and cut it. And then what you're gonna do is line it up on that next level down so that when you look at it from the front, it looks exactly the same and it doesn't look like you have it on different levels. Now you could do the 90 degree and go around the angle, but it's you run the risk of it cracking more likely when you do it that way. So that's why I'm just cutting it at each level and placing it, lining it up and placing it. So we're gonna burnish it and then we're gonna pull everything down. We're going to burnish the other side, make sure that's stuck. We're gonna cut the last part with the razor blade, reposition it, and then we're gonna burnish everything and we're going to put this down. Now, once everything is put down, I burnish it with my finger and I also go over it with a microfiber cloth and I burnish it again. No matter what kind of paint you're using, you always have to seal your transfers. So we're gonna use Country Chic's Tough Coat, which is something that they generally only use in the warmer months. So when it is cold, they do not ship it because it runs the risk of freezing. So if you guys wanna try it out, make sure you try it out now while it's warm. But we are going to take that tough coat and we're gonna go over the entire piece. One, we're gonna seal the transfers and this is a custom. So even though Country Chic is an all-in-one and it does not require a sealer because it has a built-in sealer. I always put an extra sealer on there when it's custom work just for that extra added protection. I am also going to take white wax by Country Chic and put it in the corners and cracks and crevices just to add a little bit of character on this.
Okay, everybody, here is the tiny, cute little piece. It is now a plant stand. Or, well, okay, so my client is going to use it as a plant stand now. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's very simple. How to add just a little bit of some highlighting. And then also how to apply a Redesign of Prima transfer on multi-level surfaces and around these 90 degree angles. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have an amazing, amazing week. And until next time, happy creating. Bye guys. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty